Hi guys, it's Molly from Cavi here and today we're going to be talking about having guinea pigs whilst also having other animals. In my case that's a free roam rabbit and a dog. I'm going to be giving you my tips and tricks, what I like to do, Cavi products that help me and show you my routine and my organisation. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Just a quick disclaimer, if you're going to be making any changes to your animal's routine or to your animal's diet and trying to bond animals together, it's always best to speak to your vet or to a cavi savvy expert in order to make sure this is safe and good for your pets. I will link some blog posts below where Cavi has collaborated with guinea pig experts and I will link some YouTube videos also from us to help you better in doing these things in more detail because I'm just going to be casually going over them in this video. So I'll tell you some information about the pets I have. Um, for guinea pigs I have Rose and Lavender, I'm sure if you are following us on our Instagram that you've seen them a lot. I also have a free roam rabbit called Twitch. She doesn't have a cage, she doesn't go in a cage at night time, she's out 24 7 just like Moose is, my dog. And I've managed to balance them being together. So just for a little background information, um, when Twitch was younger she did try and jump in the guinea pig's cage because she wanted to be with them and she wanted to snuggle with them. But obviously that's not safe because rabbits are much bigger. They have the ability to hurt them, even if it's just by accident and we don't want that. Plus, guinea pigs can definitely be intimidated by their size. You've got to remember they're both prey animals, they're still going to have instincts, even if it's another prey animal, just to keep themselves safe. So my cage is actually on a stand. I've got a 6x2 cavy cage with a loft and I've got it on a double stand. So it's really up high and I've got lots of storage and Twitch can't get to them but she can still see them and they can still see her and they're still able to be in the same room. I really 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 suggest a stand if you've got other pets, especially cats and dogs as they're bigger and they can jump in and stuff. It's always always recommended. Lids are also really helpful as well because they can stop animals getting in or getting onto the cage or trying to sniff them if the guinea pigs don't want that but remember a cage isn't 100% going to stop an animal getting to another animal even if it has a lid so if you have animals you know we're going to try and get to your guinea pigs try, don't have them in the same room because it's for safety you definitely have to make sure it's safe now why can't rabbits and guinea pigs be in the same enclosure there are a number of reasons for this. Like I mentioned earlier, um, rabbits can accidentally injure guinea pigs if we're not careful. Um, they have different diets, although they both have pellets and they both have hay and they both like fruits and vegetables. They do actually have different diets because rabbits are bigger, obviously their food is going to have more um, sugar in it. And we know from guinea pigs, we really don't want to give them too much sugar. Additionally, there's some foods that rabbits can eat and guinea pigs can't and um, it seems like they can share stuff but if your rabbit or your guinea pigs get protective of their food, we could have an argument, we could have an accident, rabbits and guinea pigs don't speak the same language. So if you've got those two interacting and they don't understand each other and there's arguments, it could end really, really badly and that's something we definitely don't want to happen. Bordetella bronchiseptia is a disease which rabbits can carry, dogs can also carry it, that can be transferred to guinea pigs. Now this really affects their respiratory systems, as we know they're already quite sensitive, so having your rabbit away from your guinea pigs and having your dog away from your guinea pigs is really really going to avoid having your guinea pigs become ill because we really really don't want that. Another thing to remember that a lot of people don't think of is hidey houses. Now we know guinea pigs definitely need places to hide, they've got their little tunnels, cavi do tunnels and hiding under the loft is really good for them but 
Rabbits do like hidey places too, but you have to think about size. Now, my rabbit Twitch is much, much larger than the guinea pigs. She's quite large. If she was to try and get in one of the guinea pigs hidey houses, she would not be able to get out. So for my rabbit Twitch, I have the I've, I have a double cavy stand that I've made. Make sure if you're going to make your cage double that it is well supported. You need a lot of grids to make sure that it can hold both layers up. Make sure there's grids on every single connector to make sure it's safe. But I have the underneath section of the double stand for Twitch. She has her litter box, her food, and her house and also she's got some toys under there but I'm changing it all around so they're not underneath there right now and then on the second level I have all my boxes all my food I have two boxes full of hay I have my food out right now in their um, sealed tubs but I also have a um, storage box that they go in as well and they're all nice and rainbow colored and they match the guinea pigs things and it all just looks really nice and cute so I'll give you a little tour of my cage now. I'll go through some things in more detail and we'll get a closer look. So as you can see here, we've got Twitch's litter box, her food and water, her house that she's currently in. Hi Twitch. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. What are you doing in there? What are you doing? Hi. You okay? You sniffing? You sniffing? Hi. And then we've got. Hello. How are you doing? And then we've got um, two um, gaps here, which toys can go in, and then another gap here, which more toys can go in or more storage boxes you can see that I've got four right now but I've got some more on their way so we can fill up all these gaps with storage boxes but they're really really helpful in organizing things especially when you've got quite a lot of pets like I do so they're really really helpful and very very cute they look very cute so in this one like I said a second ago we've got hay and hay in here. I always like to make sure I have lots of it, having a rabbit and having guinea pigs. In this one I have, in this one I have clean supplies but I need to do a restock so I won't bother showing you that. It's got dust pans and brushes, bin liners and such. In these we have their food so we have the guinea pigs food and we have the rabbits food and a little scoop so it's airtight and make sure it's good for them to eat and then we have some treats over here we've got um, rabbit treats, guinea pig treats and then treats that they can share and usually it's in this box but I have it out right now because they're due a feeding aren't you girls? Are you due a feeding? yeah look how cute you are so that's that, that's what I find really really helpful to do, having them in their tubs and having everything ready to go. So that's what I find really useful, having them in their tubs, having everything ready to go and it was all organised and nice. The guinea pig's fleece is in the wash right now, you might be able to hear the washing machine in the background. So when that stuff's out I'll give you a tour of their cage, but for now let's talk about dogs and guinea pigs. I can't talk from cats from experience but I imagine it's quite similar except cats do a lot more climbing so this definitely applies to them. But I have a big dog, <laughs> he is a very big dog, he's called Moose. Moose is a collie cross hunt away cross kelpie, so He's used to herding and he's loud and he's big, <laughs> which isn't a good match for guinea pigs and rabbits, prey animals, just all prey animals especially, even the bird, but the bird is not scared of him at all. If anything, the bird tries and goes up to him, but the bird is a different story. But that's something that I have to be extra careful about with him being loud and him being really large. So. 
having the stand is really, really great. It means they're up out of the way, he can still see them, but he can't get to them if he wants to do anything. Sometimes he can be really curious and he wants to say hi, so I have, I have to be careful of that. And the rab because the rabbit's free roam, she's around him quite a lot, but it's just making sure your animals have places to hide. With prey animals, it's vital that you give them places to hide, places they can get away. It's like, I can shut my door and no one can get to the guinea pigs and the rabbit. It's about having space of their own, somewhere they can retreat to if they feel like they need to. Because that's going to make them feel safe, it's going to help with bonding, and it's going to make interacting cats and dogs with them much, much easier. Bonding rabbits and dogs or guinea pigs and dogs isn't a thing that's necessary. I don't always suggest it. The reason why my dog is bonded to my rabbit is because, like I said, she's free roam. She lives like a dog. She's got a water bowl, a food bowl, a bed, and she just roams the house. They are comfortable together. They know each other, but still, I would never leave them unsupervised. They are only around each other when I'm home. When I'm not home, Twitch stays in her room. She has a whole room to herself still, so she's got lots of space, but they are only interacting when I'm home. Always, always make sure playtime or bonding time is supervised. They tend to stay away from each other anyway. They're not really fussed by each other. But for guinea pigs, if you're cuddling them, if you're like in the living room, in the in your bedroom and your dog is there obviously you can let your dog sniff them just be careful but i wouldn't suggest trying to bond guinea pigs with dogs there's no need especially when they can have floor space and a playpen and such so there's there's not really much need to do that just always always make sure your pets are supervised around each other so the piggy stuff is all washed now i'm just waiting for it to dry and then i'll show you how i set up my cage i'll put all the fleece liners back in and i'll show you how i place certain things hi guys i'm back so i'm gonna show you the cage all clean and ready to go and i'll do a voiceover because the bird will love to interrupt me whilst i'm talking about it so i'll just do a voiceover so like i said earlier i have a six by two cage with a double stand and a loft and twitches underneath i think stands are great because you're on the level with the guinea pigs rather than being over them it's great to get on their level and it's less intimidating for them and having a loft as well provides a hidey space without putting anything in they love to lie underneath the loft i know my piggies absolutely love it and it's fun exercise for them to run up and down it and have a great old time and then like i said i have all my stuff underneath i have the boxes i have twitch's stuff i have her two litter trays i have her food and i have all of my cleaning supplies and extra toys and extra hideys in there as well so the sun's going down and this wraps up today's video i hope you enjoyed if you have any more questions about anything i've mentioned or something else to do with the animals comment it down below or you can dm us on our instagram cavi pets we have now changed from cavi cage to cavi pets i will also link some really helpful blog posts from us in the description so you can click on them and you can read a bit more but i hope you've enjoyed yourself i hope you've learned something new and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day see you soon